Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech, and in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at SRB Miner's uh, specific command uh, for Dynex mining or crypto mining in general. I've done videos before about 1.0 Miner and its new command that it recently came out with, but this one from SRB Miner has actually been out for quite some time, I believe since August. And that specific command is uh, the GPU-Dynex-R command, and I tested the 7900 XTX from AMD and the RTX 3080. And we're going to show you the actual impacts that it has uh, for a 3060 EVGA 3060 and EVGA 3070 Ti. Because when I came out with my 1.0 minor data or information, uh, you know, many people said that SRB, SRB. I understand that SRB minor is the better minor at the time. And quite frankly, these devs or minor uh, uh, developers, right, that develop these programs, will come out with something new and it will probably overtake uh, other miners in a specific algorithm or cryptocurrency mining operation. Uh, but then the devs make another update and then the next miner will take over. That Kind of like a battle between T-Rex and LOL miner or LOL miner and some others. So SRB miner is, uh, according to the community and what you have uh, so graciously told me many times, in the comments and throughout is SRB Miner is the best for mining Dynex. Um, so we're just focusing on the command. I'll let you decide which miner is best for you in your circumstance. We know that 1.0 Miner is only for NVIDIA GPUs and only for Dynex, while SRB Miner has a number of other algorithms that it supports and not just for Dynex. So the command, as I mentioned, is dash dash GPU underscore Dynex uh, dash R and the attributes that are the various values you can use is either the number one through the number 16 and now I didn't test all 16 but throughout the data I do show uh, 1, 2, 4, 6, 13, 16, 10 and then stock and on the 3080 the stock hash per watt wasn't too far off the best option that I found for NVIDIA which that option is number six so if you add that command parameter, right, that argument, uh, GPU Dynex R, and the number six, that gave me the best hash per watt on this 3080. Now, yes, the core clocks, uh, the offset clocks, the mem clocks might be different from what you're using. So I'm just keeping everything static so I can compare and contrast one against the other. May not be the best clocks for your setup or your configuration. But as long as you're getting the data and then test out this command parameter yourself, I mean, it's been around since August, so you should have already tested it by now and know what's best. Uh, but that command um, or that option, number six, is the best that I found for the NVIDIA type GPUs. But on the AMD side of things, what I found is number one is the best. Now, it doesn't do too much better than stock. Well, it does do a little bit better than stock. Instead of 30 hash per watt, we're getting 31 0.36 hash per watt and yes people can get the power draw a lot lower than 260 let's say the lowest i've seen uh in my history in my own data and own testing was around 240 something um and dropping the clocks uh, as low as possible you can't manipulate the memory unfortunately with these newer amd 7000 series gpus which is quite unfortunate so the lowest uh for this testing just keeping everything static once again and the best that i found was the command uh that srb miner offers but with the attribute of number one or the value of number one and then nvidia uh number six so we have my 3060 and 3070 ti hashing away here you can see right now with its current setting of 1600 on the clock uh the mem clock and everything i'm gonna copy over for this particular gpu just to keep everything static 3070 ti is getting 4.15 kilo hash and the 3060 is only doing 2.99 kilo hash right so you can see the numbers there, 39.75 hash per watt on the 3060, 35.2 hash per watt on the 3070 Ti. So now we're going to shut this down. Uh, we already have SRB miner here. Got to add in some uh, specific parameters. We already have the core clock locked in here. We just make sure that the GPU uh, memory clock and everything is up to par or exactly the same. Like the mem clock, and I know 5001, as many times you guys told me, is not the best. I understand that we're just going to keep everything the same for the test and we're going to see what srb miner can provide after some time and we'll bring you back and after stabilizing 
the SRB miner with the argument with the number or the value six has basically pushed a 3070 Ti up to 46 plus uh, hash per watt and even a 3060 up to 46 hash per watt. And when I took a snippet, you could see that we're doing pretty good. You know, 3070 hit 47 hash per watt, 3060 hit 46.74 hash per watt, even at the same clock, same setting, same everything. Um, and it reduced the power draw quite drastically. So improved hash rate, reducing power draw. That's what it's all about when it comes to crypto mining. I will have the data or the sheet um, saved for you guys online for you to go check out. Go make a copy. Don't try to edit the existing one. Go make a copy. I'm going to change the names around because I already had the 7900 XTX in here. I added the 3080. I'm going to go and test all the other arguments or values. 1, 2, 4, 6, 13, 16, 10, and stock on both of these GPUs. And I will have those linked down in the description. So as of the moment, the community banging me over the head saying SRB Miner is the best seems to be right. But just know that the crypto mining world is an ever-changing one, and miner devs might come out with another update in the future that just blows away another miner, and then that the other miner's dev makes an update, and then here we go again, right? So it's always about testing the latest miners and testing the configurations or the arguments that they allow us to in these various miners, and then just sharing your data or information out with the community to help one another do the best. I know these clocks are not the best for my GPUs. I know uh, that the parameters set may not be the most optimum set, but leaving everything static just so I can focus on getting this data to you is the key endpoint of this video. Um, you know, please do not go into the comments and say no point in watching this video because this miner is better. There, there's always a point to data, and you can you the end user can take that data and compare and contrast and do what's best for you either way thank you so much for stopping by do me a favor on the way out hit the like button make sure to get subscribed hit notification bell to stay up to date as well as check out some of the links in the description that will support the channel and what we do here and i thank you again you just have yourself a wonderful day take care i'll catch you in the next one